Good afternoon. I am Paul Katz, president of the University of the Sciences. I welcome you to the 200th Founders Day of our university. This important event launches the celebration of our bicentennial year, marking an important milestone in the history of education, pharmacy, and science in America. Whether you are a member of our vast alumni community, one of our distinguished faculty, our dedicated staff, or a student pursuing your future, you all play an important role in this celebration and the legacy of our great university. While I had hoped to celebrate this event with you in person, the health and safety of our extended university family is of the utmost importance. So we will honor our past, present, and future with the help of technology this year. Each February, we gather to recall U Sciences' establishment as the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy when 68 prominent Philadelphia apothecaries met in Carpenter's Hall. This act, 200 years ago to the day, on February 23, 1821, ushered in a new era in the education and ultimately the practice of pharmacy as a discipline. Founders Day commemorates U Sciences' rich tradition of innovation, entrepreneurship, and producing leaders who shape new dimensions in healthcare, policy, and business, as well as science and research. This year brings an added significance to our annual celebration. Another great tradition of our university is the bestowing of honorary degrees to recognize those who exemplify our founders' values. In 1887, the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy bestowed five Master of Pharmacy degrees on Norris Causa. The first was awarded to Alfred B. Taylor, an 1841 graduate of the college, who was the first secretary of the American Pharmaceutical Association and a trustee of the college. As we have grown from a college of pharmacy into a university focused on the education of leaders in science and health care, it is fitting that today we will honor a truly distinguished individual. Our bicentennial recipient embodies the pioneering spirit of our founders and has distinguished himself by his leadership in the pharmaceutical and healthcare industries. He has led his company to deliver innovative life-saving medicines and vaccines and has made important investments in cutting edge research. His ongoing commitment and support of social justice, equity, and diversity resonate in these times. Today, we are honored to acknowledge these efforts by the conferring of an honorary degree of science. Please welcome our board chair, Jim Rivard, to present our nominee. I am honored to present this year's nominee, Kenneth C. Frazier, Chairman of the Board and Chief Executive Officer of the pharmaceutical company Merck & Company. Under his leadership, Merck has not only brought important medications and therapies to market, but it has substantially increased the investment in research, including early stage research. Mr. Frazier has refocused the organization on the launch and growth of key products that provide benefits to society. He has also led the formation of philanthropic and other initiatives that build on Merck's more than 125-year legacy. Mr. Frazier joined the company in 1992 as Vice President, General Counsel, and Secretary of the company's joint venture with Astra AB. Through the years, he held positions of increasing responsibility at Merck before he was named President of Global Human Health in 2007. In 2010, Mr. Frazier became President of Merck. He was appointed CEO and Chairman of the Board of Directors in 2011. As CEO, Mr. Frazier has directed the company to take calculated risk in developing new treatments. In 2013, he prioritized research funding over meeting the year's earnings target. He has placed special emphasis on improving treatments for Alzheimer's disease, an illness that claimed his father. Notably, Mr. Frazier has said he is also motivated at Merck & Company by a desire to improve the lives of people in developing countries, as clearly evidenced by the global commitment of the company. Prior to joining Merck, Mr. Frazier was a partner with the Philadelphia law firm of Drinker, Biddle & Reith. As a lawyer at Drinker, Biddle, one of Mr. Frazier's clients was Merck & Company, the second largest drug company in the United States. He is a member of the boards of the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, Weill Cornell Medicine, 
ExxonMobil Corporation, and Cornerstone Christian Academy in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He also is a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the Business Council, the Council of the American Law Institute, and the American Bar Association. In 2018, he was elected to the American Philosophical Society. Mr. Frazier received his bachelor's degree from the Pennsylvania State University and holds a Juris Doctor degree from Harvard Law School. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and our university community, we are extremely proud to acknowledge Mr. Frazier's work with our highest honor. On recommendation of the nominating committee and with the approval of the Board of Trustees and by virtue of the authority granted this institution and vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I confer on Kenneth C. Frazier the degree of Doctor of Sciences honoris causa with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Dr. Frazier. We are incredibly honored to count you among our distinguished alumni. I'm delighted to be a part of this 200 year celebration of the University of the Sciences, a distinguished institution that has shaped an entire American industry and one that is essential to modern day medicine. Thank you to your president, Dr. Paul Katz, Mr. Jim Rivard, and the Board of Trustees for welcoming me and for awarding me an honorary degree from your esteemed university. I am indeed honored and privileged to join the U Sciences community. I have deep respect for the University of the Sciences. For centuries, the school has been at the forefront of scientific knowledge, cultivating great thinkers and innovators of its time including the architects of some of today's most prolific pharmaceutical companies. Together, you and your alumni have realized the dreams of your founders and advanced the health care of our country, exceeding what was thought possible all those years ago. The 68 prominent Philadelphia apothecaries who stood in historic Carpenters Hall and pioneered the first pharmacy school in North America understood the importance of scientific rigor and training. They were determined to propel the field of pharmacy forward, and their mission has made it possible for us to expand access to scientific innovations, advance cancer care, improve diabetes treatment, fight back against infectious diseases, and more. As stewards of that vision, the U Sciences family has not only maintained your founder's vision for pharmacy, but broadened it, expanding to 30 critical healthcare and related fields, from data science to psychology, from policy to pre-med. Most impressive, you have modeled a new way forward for healthcare education, creating chances for those who might not have had the privilege of opportunity but who are eager to apply their skills and aptitudes to improve people's well-being. By helping many of your students become the first in their families to access and earn a college education, you are honoring their potential and serving their communities. Your leadership fosters new hope for meaningful careers with purpose to tackle and provide solutions for some of humanity's greatest health challenges. But you cannot do it alone. Society must support your efforts and amplify them. This past year has reawakened our understanding of the disparities that plague our communities, from unequal opportunity of education to health outcomes that are more determined by zip codes than genetic codes. As you address the educational gaps in society, you are helping us overcome obstacles to good health too. Our institutions have a robust partnership. Historic data suggests that roughly one third of your alumni go on to join Merck. But our connection is much deeper. Like you, our company is dedicated to saving and improving lives and addressing societal gaps. We are also working to increase the diversity of our clinical trials to find new entry points to Merck careers for those who may not have had access to a school like U Sciences 
and to ensure our own workforce is representative of our communities. You science's students and graduates, your education is more than an opportunity. It is a gift, a chance to apply your skills and instill effective practices to the front lines of medicine to help overcome America's healthcare divide and set our country on a new path. Carry the unique knowledge of your own neighborhoods and rich cultures to hospital administrations, research centers, and the pharmaceutical industry, championing those who are too often forgotten. As you science as scholars and agents, you are destined to evolve our approaches and facilitate better outcomes for everyone we collectively serve. We are indebted to your university for leading with science and educating tomorrow's healthcare and pharmaceutical professionals and grateful for your leadership on equity issues. Your founders, at great risk, inspired a new dawn for pharmaceutical scholarship and passed that torch on to you to usher into a new era that will honor and modernize their profession for the benefit of all. Again, I am privileged to hold an honorary University of the Sciences degree. Thank you, and congratulations on a 200-year history that holds great promise for the future. Dr. Frazier, with this honor, you become a member of our bicentennial class of graduates, the class of 2021. In doing so, you enrich both this class and our institution. Your name will be added to our historic list of distinguished honorary degree recipients. Congratulations, Dr. Frazier. Let me add my congratulations to Dr. Frazier on this honor. Today is an important day as we come together to celebrate the bicentennial anniversary of the founding of our institution and it is fitting that we also recognize the work of our distinguished faculty. On Founders Day, we continue the tradition of honoring faculty who hold endowed faculty positions. The university is fortunate and honored to have donors who have supported its vision of excellence by funding endowed positions within the deanships and the faculty. Such positions provide funds to establish recognition of excellence within a university in perpetuity. They are rare and reserved for a few distinguished faculty members. These endowments enable the university to recruit and retain the best and brightest from among the academy whose scholarship and leadership enriches their department, college, and university. It is with great pride that once again, we formally bestow this honor upon a member of our academic community and recognize this individual with a medal of significance. Our current endowed deans, chairs, and faculty are an impressive group, and I would like to take a moment to first acknowledge them. Dr. George E. Downs, Linwood F. Tice Professor of Pharmacy. Dr. Edward F. Foote, John Wyeth Dean. Dr. Peter J. Harvison, Leonard and Madeline Abramson Chair in Pharmacology. Dr. Daniel A. Hussar, Remington Professor Emeritus of Pharmacy. Dr. Pardeep K. Gupta, Burroughs Welcome Endowed Chair in Pharmaceutics. Dr. Andrew M. Peterson, John Wyeth Dean Emeritus. Dr. Kathy Y. Poon, Barbara H. Corberly, Professorship in Women's Leadership and Health. Dr. Bin Chen, McNeil Endowed Research Professor. Dr. Charles N. McEwen, Houghton Endowed Chair in Chemistry and Biochemistry. Dr. Laura A. Mondos, Remington Professor of Clinical Pharmacy. This year, we honor Dr. Bella Pitambarid, PhD, Associate Professor of Biology and Co-Director of Graduate Studies as the Abraham and Edith Roth Chair in Pharmacognosy Natural Products. During her decade-long career at University of the Sciences, Dr. Patambaran has been both a dedicated teacher and scholar. Her research integrates several disciplines, including biology, cell biology, 
biotechnology, and pharmacognosy to investigate various genes that regulate the biosynthesis of natural products in plants. Specifically, her team looks to identify novel natural products and investigate their various applications. The Roth Chair in Pharmacognosy Natural Products was established in 1995 by Edith Roth in memory of her husband, Abraham. The chair position supports research into natural products and their therapeutic benefits in treating diseases. Congratulations, Dr. Pitambaran. The legacy of the 68 prominent apothecaries who founded Philadelphia College of Pharmacy 200 years ago is alive each day in the U-Sciences community. Our founders were pioneers who had the visionary forethought to innovate their industry and establish scientific standards not only to enhance their vocation, but to protect the public welfare. These tenets of entrepreneurship and innovation are integral to the university community to this day. And today we award our annual Founders Day Awards of Merit to a faculty member, a staff member, an undergraduate student, and a graduate student. I am happy to have the opportunity to present an award to an outstanding faculty member who embodies the U Sciences Founders Pioneering Spirit through scholarly pursuit or research project that results in the development of something new and significant. Nominations for this award were solicited from across the campus community. A selection committee was charged with the difficult duty of identifying just one outstanding individual. While several nominated faculty met the qualifications for this award, the decision was difficult. Dr. Zi Yu Li has been chosen as the 15th recipient of the Founders Day Faculty Award of Merit. Dr. Li is Professor of Pharmaceutical Sciences in the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy and has distinguished himself as a researcher and teacher for the last 16 years at the university. Dr. Li's research is focused on the development of novel targeted drug delivery systems, and this work has earned him five U.S. and foreign patents, many published research articles, and funding from organizations, including the National Institutes of Health. Dr. Li is described in his nomination letter as a strong advocate for students who approach instruction of difficult concepts in innovative ways. Dr. Lee clearly embodies the pioneering spirit of this award and is highly deserving. Congratulations, Dr. Lee. It's my privilege to present the Founders Day Student Awards of Merit. I'm continually impressed by the energy, drive, and ambition of our students. These adjectives describe the work students do in the classroom, research labs, and in their careers. While there's much to celebrate about our students and the university during our bicentennial year, I've been asked to present two awards to members of our student community who have exemplified the spirit of the founders of U Sciences. The first award recognizes our undergraduate student population. This year's selection committee found the achievements of two students deserving of this award. As students who embody the spirit of innovation of our founders, it is my pleasure to convey the 2021 Founders Day Undergraduate Student Award of Merit to Mr. Kishan Patel and Ms. Daphne Vandermole. These student leaders of the Environment Conservation Organization created a new partnership between Phil Abundance, the largest hunger relief organization in the region, and the university's dining services provider, Sodexo, to donate an estimated 836 items of individually packaged food from retail sites on campus or food remaining after catered university events. As future healthcare professionals, the students have learned the importance of caring for patients beyond the practice site and have given back to the community in a meaningful way. Congratulations, Mr. Patel and Ms. Vandermolle. As you know, our graduate programs are adept at attracting and educating 
innovators, and leaders in research and our clinical programs. This year's Graduate Student Merit Award is given to a student who has been recognized for their outstanding performance and scholarly pursuit. The recipient has been recognized for carrying on the spirit of her founders through their research and through their leadership. This year's recipient is described by her nominator as the most outstanding graduate student the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry has ever had. This student is not only intelligent, hardworking, productive, curious, detail-oriented, and determined, but has also conducted impressive research in developing a promising way to deliver targeted cancer therapy using BRAF variants. Her research is focused on the development of allosteric BRAF inhibitors to selectively kill cancer cells carrying oncogenic BRAF variants. As a result of this work, she has successfully obtained funding for her research and published several scholarly articles. It is my pleasure to convey the 2021 Founders Day Graduate Student Award of Merit to Ms. Amber Gunderwalla. Congratulations, Ms. Gunderwalla. This year, I'm happy to have the opportunity to present the sixth annual award to an outstanding staff member who, quote, exemplifies the entrepreneurial spirit and values of the university through dedication to innovation and excellence. At this time, I would like to share a few excerpts from one of the many nomination letters recognizing this staff member. This individual has demonstrated a sustained and significant contribution to the development and implementation of the COVID-19 return to campus plan, inclusive of screening, contact tracing, educating, and caring for the University of the Sciences community. Her efforts contributed to reducing the stigma associated with COVID-19 exposures and diagnoses and created a culture of support as a model for future students, future careers in the health sciences. She works relentlessly to act quickly while never seeming rushed or without time for questions or concerns from faculty and students. Her commitment to the health of our university community and to the larger public health crisis embodies the spirit of the Founders Day Award of Merit. She serves as a model of the University of the Sciences mission of providing a, quote, safe and supportive environment in which our students live, learn, and succeed. It is my pleasure to announce that this year's recipient of the 2021 Founders Day Staff Award of Merit is Dr. Barbara Siebert, Director of Student Health. Congratulations, Dr. Siebert. Let me again take a moment to congratulate all of our recipients, Dr. Frazier, Dr. Pete Amberin, Dr. Lee, Mr. Patel, Ms. Vandermala, Ms. Gunderwala, and Dr. Siebert. This celebration of our bicentennial year is not just a singular day or event, but a spirit that propels us in all that we do and informs how we prepare for the next 200 years of excellence in science and healthcare education. We continue to reflect on our humble origins, momentous accomplishments, and the innovative individuals who have shaped our legacy. The heroes that have come before, but we celebrate a new generation of heroes and those who have yet to make their mark. We have much to look forward to in the coming months as we celebrate what's next, and we encourage you to share in this celebration with us all year long. These are unprecedented times. Today, as much as any time in the last 200 years, the world needs heroes. How do we know? Because we've been there all along. In 200 years of service to our students, we've seen our share of heroes. They've passed through our doors and went on to change our world, to save and transform lives, to literally write the book on pharmacy. They were the spark. They made their mark. Now, 
A new generation of challenges demands a new generation of heroes. Our bicentennial isn't just a remembrance of what our graduates have done. It's a celebration of what they are about to do. What will lead to the next spark? Who will make the next mark? It's a challenge and an opportunity, as it has been and will continue to be. We're excited to stay at the forefront. Join us to commemorate 200 years of proven history and to celebrate a proven future.